What's up, everybody? It's your boy Brian back from American Auto. Today, I'm not working on a car. I'm not singing a song. I'm doing something completely different. A buddy of mine brought this to me and was like, hey, can you make this work? I don't know if I can, but I'm going to try. So, there's Blue back there in the back. I'm supporting the... Uh, one gun, two gun, Dr. Seuss shirt today. I know it's not pink, but it's got all the other colors. So, this beat up lawnmower right here, I already took the gas tank off of it, but that's it. This is a Briggs and Stratton automatic 23 horsepower something cut i don't know it doesn't matter because i am taking the engine off of it engine runs great or so i was told and we are going to make that 23 horsepower twin valve engine operate something else We have a massive log splitter here. Yeah. Got a PTO shaft right in here. Two stage handle. And that makes the ram come in and out. Big old 10 gallon hydraulic tank. It's awesome. It's a hand built deal, but it's very well hand built. But you have to have a motor to make the piston operate and a hydraulic pump operate. And that motor is going to be coming off of this lawnmower. So, we're gonna start taking it apart and get the engine off and go from there. So I'll bring guys back here in just a few minutes. All right, so we back. Uh, so I've been really, really, really busy, sorta. Uh, but we've got all the big stuff off. Already tore the entire body off of it. Got the motor loose, it's ready to come off. Got the whole wiring harness loose, it's ready to come off. This guy here's gonna come off cause I've got to use it on the uh, splitter itself. So I'm gonna put you guys over here and set you up and we're going to set this engine off of here actually i think i'll pull it off with the chain with the hoist because i don't want to set it down and break it or anything like that so we'll get that done Small block Chevy. Oh, <laughs> might be a good idea to take the uh, muffler loose. However, that comes off. Well, who would have thought? Let's see what we got here. Try for a round two. 
Tell you what. We'll take care of this just as soon as I get the right stuff. Drop into the muffler, not even run into it, just drop into it. Kind of a okay setup, I guess. Anyway, so I'm assuming, and I know you ain't supposed to assume, but I'm assuming this big block's kind of heavy. So I'm not going to try and throw my back out picking it up. So I'll figure it out and figure out a way to get the chain hoist on it and we'll see what happens. Be smarter than I am. I do not know. And I know that's not saying much, but still. Let's try this. Maybe this will work. Maybe. I just don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> Seems to be 
working. And there, you have it, guys. It's not that bad heavy. I wouldn't want to drop it on my toe, but... It's got a little bit of weight to it. Nothing too major. Now, I need to put it on this roller. These are awesome things to have, guys. This one, actually, is what my welder sets on. But when I need it for this, or something else, I use it, because it's, it's not a big welder. Oh, come on, you piece of junk. There we go. <laughs> this is a big block for a project for a little one cylinder project but if you watch shows like mighty car mods and stuff like that this is their actual big block how many of you guys watch the uh how many of you guys actually watch mighty car mods one Next question, if you watch Mighty Car Mods, which, by the way, I'll say is a great, great show. Marty and Moog are just very knowledgeable people. But, if you watch Mighty Car Mods, how many of you watch Roadkill? That follows into the next question. If you watch Mighty Car Mods and you watch Roadkill, how many of you watched the crossover episode? They kind of had a build off. Now, ironically, David Freiberger from Roadkill got to keep his car, and Marty and Moog from Mighty Car Mods kept theirs. As a matter of fact, theirs went on tour all over uh, Europe and stuff. But nonetheless, it was still a really awesome build. Uh, they built themselves a Subaru Root. It was a WRX Impreza. Uh, they do the turbo out of the hood. It's a really good episode. I recommend going and checking it out if you're into car content like that. Uh, and of course, David Freiberger nailed, hit the nail on the head. He said, uh, people in out, outside of the U.S. refer to American cars as being uh, overpowered, ill handling, and no stopping. Well, that's, that's when he put them in the... Uh, I guess that's the Impala. Uh, yeah, the Crusher Impala with the 700 horsepower Moroso big block with the blower on it and all that. <laughs> I thought it was pretty funny watching them guys. No charging system, so they went through like 20 some batteries uh, on the Crusher Impala to get it from where they staged the show at to where they were racing. Anyway. I highly recommend checking that out if you're into car content. Uh, them guys are amazing, all of them. And I personally would love to meet any one of them. I put the uh, message out to David Freiberger and Mike Finnegan if they were ever near Bristol, Tennessee to shoot me a message because I would drive a blue over there to get them to sign the dashboard, autograph the dashboard for me. Can you guess how many responses I got on that? <laughs> Still waiting. So anyway, that's the removal of the engine, put it on a cart, get it ready to go on to the uh, wood splitter. 
Uh, how we're going to do that, you'll you'll appreciate that. Uh, that's going to be a different video. That'll be a new video probably tomorrow or the next day. Uh, it's a pretty neat setup, and we'll bolt it down to the flat plate and how I turn this uh, bar and dash bezel deal or whatever into a functioning throttle control and choke and all that for a wood splitter. Uh, I, I think you'll find that pretty interesting. I've got it all played out in my head if I can actually make it work. Uh, I still have to get the remainder of the wiring harness off of the mower deck or mower body. I'll do that off camera. Nobody, nobody wants to actually see that, let's be honest. Uh, and then get this crap out of my garage here. Uh, but when I bring you guys back, we'll be putting the engine onto the splitter and go from there. So with that, with that, thank you for watching. Uh, please comment, like, subscribe, tell a buddy, tell a buddy's buddy, tell a girlfriend, tell anybody, I don't care. Just tell somebody uh, about American Auto and the kind of crazy crap I'm doing. Nothing's really crazy yet besides a garage burnout or a driveway burnout or, you know, using breathing oxygen for my cutting torch. You know, that's kind of crazy. Uh, but we got more stuff to come, guys. I've got plenty more projects that I'm working on getting in here. And uh, if you subscribe, you'll know when the next video will upload. Uh, but stay tuned. I will bring you back when we move this to that and that in here. And I'll show you the really awesome viscous coupler that is going to make it all work. So thanks again. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching uh, American Auto.